Hey, how's it going? Well, got something to share with you guys. Uh, you know how I was telling you that I don't have insurance and stuff. Well, I ran out of my last pills of Seroquel because they gave me something else that is cheaper, you know, to to pay for. And today's the first day without taking Seroquel. I took it, well, to sleep, you know, I used it to sleep. But, oh, man. <clears throat> like, even though I took the other medicine, this one, without it, I'm still, you know, I'm withdrawing, like, real bad. Well, all day I have been, you know, I've been nauseous, dizzy. I feel like the walls are going like this, you know. And just horrible, my anxiety just shot up like, real high. I even took Ativan and that didn't even calm it down, you know, because I keep Ativan for emergencies. So then I was like, <clears throat> well, when I was withdrawing from Ativan, um, I smoked weed, you know, and it, it helped for the symptoms. So I said, well, you know, I was kind of scared to smoke because um, with my anxiety high already, you know, I didn't want to get a panic attack. But... I just got done smoking right now, and it's like good, you know, like real good. Like I feel relaxed and calm. So thank God for weed, you know, to do this to you. Cause without it, I don't know if I'll be functioning right now, you know. It's horrible. I hate withdrawing, man. My second time withdrawing from a psych med in less than a year, and I've been taking this med for since March of last year. So, since March till now, taking it every night for almost you know 365 days, and your body just gets used to it because you know it builds up in your brain. And without it, your brain needs it, like you know, like it's a regular. Like if it's heroin or something, you know, that's how it is. And I'm like, damn, why do they have to, you know, why do the insurance company, healthcare system have to do this to people? Because I'm probably not the only one right now withdrawing from Seroquel, you know. Like, dang, don't you know how bad this feels? I mean, to the lawmakers doing that healthcare, you know, they, the, uh, the health care all around the U.S., they're going to change it all up. Like, let them feel, let them withdraw from a benzo or from the psych med to see that it's not good just because we have to pay for it, you know, because we don't have insurance. And it's a lot of money, you know, it's like $800 a bottle. And then the new one I take is now like $75 a bottle. So, you know, it's a big difference. But then, Seroquel right now is the number one prescribed medication in the whole country. Makes like billions and billions a year. So, I know there's a lot of people going through this because, you know, insurance changes, they do this, the premium changes. So, it's kind of messed up to make us go through this. I mean, I thought I was making a step forward beating this anxiety but feels like I'm taking like a whole 10 steps back like back to how I was you know but I don't give up hope I know this will probably last a while and it'll go away and once it goes away my anxiety will come back to um, where it's supposed to be you know not that high but it was kind of hard you know like this morning I felt so bad I just I prayed like a hundred times, you know, pray to God like a hundred times, like, please make me feel better, please make me feel better, but then I smoke weed and I feel fine now, I thought I was gonna miss UFC tonight, cause, you know, I didn't, I just felt like being in bed, you know, my body ached, but now that I smoked, I'm like, I'm gonna watch UFC, like all the symptoms are gone, I'm not nauseous, I'm not dizzy, I could think. So, weed is good for anxiety. 
Just limit yourself. You know, we all gotta move forward. Fuck this anxiety. Fuck how we feeling. Cause like I heard the other day, some people talking and they said, people with anxiety, you know, we don't live our lives to the fullest. Or we don't live life as it is, you know, because we avoid so much places and so much things and so much like situations that practically everyone goes through. But for us, it's hell, you know, that it's a way of slowly dying because you're not appreciating life, you know, it's kind of makes sense to me. So I just say that to myself. I cannot stop this from enjoying my life. But... Mm. Just want to get over this. I have hope. You know? So that's my little thing, and I'm still working on my presentation. It's coming out good, actually. You know, probably finish it up tomorrow. It's today I'm gonna be watching UFC. All right, you guys take care. Talk to you guys another day.